Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a Holly haul. And these are things that I've picked up in the last couple of weeks before we were on quarantine and then some little things I've gotten here and there. Um, I wanted to show them to you guys because I need to put them away. I'm organizing, sorting my stuff out and trying to get my room ready to show you guys my space. So with that being said, let me show you what I got. So I'm going to start off with something that I don't have yet, but I want to include it because this is basically everything that I have. I ended up buying the Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. I love this mascara so much, and I do have some mascaras left, um, but I really like this one a ton. So I ended up buying it from the website because they had a buy one get one 50% off, and it made more sense than my actual discount. So this will be on its way. The next item I'm going to talk about is let the next item I want to talk about is what I have on. This little guy here. This is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and this is in Velvet Underground. This is part of her KISSING formula, so it's a little bit creamier. It's not a matte finish. I blotted it and then added another layer just to kind of intensify the color like it i picked up a melt cosmetics liner <laughs> this is our new one um this is in the color burnish this actually just arrived and i love this so much from the minute i saw it i'm like oh i need it and then i'm like no you don't and i went through my collection and i needed it i didn't have anything like this this is just such a stunning burgundy shade and i think this color is appealing to me because I can wear it every day. Um, it's still neutral tone, so it's not going to be like really intense for work. So I was excited um, to get it. And it, it honestly, like it wasn't like one of those impulsive buys. Like this was like a no. And I literally went through my collection, sorted out my liners. I'm like, I don't have anything like it. So with that being said, I got a fragrance. I am not someone that buys fragrance regularly, like I'm, I'm not that person, but this perfume I bought because I'm obsessed with the dry shampoo, and it's the Way dry shampoo, and I was going to DM Jen Atkin and be like, yo, you need to make a fragrance that smells like that because I want to wear it. And I went on Sephora's website, and on the website under the description it actually tells you what product is associated with the smell so I picked up North Bondi and this is a very reasonable um, price for 1.7 fluid ounces you get you this was fairly reasonably priced like for 1.7 ounces you pay i think it was 54 dollars, and of course i get my discount so ugh, i love this smell so much i literally spray my hair every day with that dry shampoo just so that it smells like that and it just kind of lingers it makes me so happy so to have this and not to be able to it makes me happy. So Muse Beauty had a package deal for a palette that I was really wanting, but I'm like, mm, I don't need it. And it's the Vise Art Chow Chow palette. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. And I love this so much. It makes me so happy. And honestly, I'm like, you don't need it. You have the Huda Neon palette and it's not the same. So when I saw that they had a package deal, for their liner brush which i've never tried their brushes and their mixing medium which i love the packaging i think it's very um simple and it's not going to clutter your garbage bins or your recycling bin so it's a Isam pro mixing medium looks like this and the liner brush which again i haven't tried any of their brushes and i'm super excited to try this pretty big liner brush but who knows I might end up loving this and and I thought that was a steal um, because their items can be kind of pricey but when you did the bundle deal and then on top of that I got the pro desk discount it was a nice discount I also ended up picking up another bundle that they have I wanted to try the Viseart uh, lip oils and I wanted this one which it's called petal 
it came with the nude pencil. These are two items that I have been wanting to try and I just thought this is a perfect time to try them and get them. I'm getting a discount and um, the bundles are items that I want. So it was a win-win case for me. A few weeks ago, I placed an order with NARS and I picked up a few of their Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigments and I got three shades. I picked up Shockum. Shockum is a thick, chunky glitter. It's stunning and it adds beautiful shine and texture to any look. And then I picked up Stricken, which is a beautiful bronze glittery shade. This is like the perfect smoky eye color. And the last shade I got, I got all the neutral ones. I really wanted that mint green, but I'm like, ugh, you're really not gonna use it. Slam is a coppery gold champagne pigment. They're so beautiful. They're very sparkly. Um, if you have colors in your collection that look like this, that add the sparkle, that look what, then I would say you don't need these. Um, if you're looking to try something that's really pretty and glittery and you're not really sure what brand to pick from, these are beautiful. Um, however, there are other products in the market that don't require you to use a glitter glue. Just saying, but I love these. They are beautiful. I'm not throwing any shade by any means, but I'm being honest with you guys. I also picked up um, two of their tinted glow boosters and I got Tangsi which is the darker shade. And then I picked up Samoa, Simos, which is the lighter shade. So I did the medium and the tan. And the reason why I did this is because I thought this would be a good way to modify my foundation. So in the term, summertime, if I need something that's a little bit more bronzier, I can go in with this. Or if I need to tone one of my darker foundations down, I can always use this. And they are beautiful. They give your skin just like a really beautiful, light, luminous glow. They are a nice addition to my collection. And they're super sheer. So let me show you the darkest shade. This is what one pump is. It's not a lot. And when you mix it, it almost looks like Laguna bronzer. But as you guys can see, it's not like a ton of, you're not getting coverage from it. And then this is the lighter of the two. I did more. There it is. So the description actually says that you can wear these on a day that you don't want to wear makeup. You're not going to get a ton of coverage from it. You're not going to get any coverage from it. You might even out your skin tone just slightly, but it's not going to be a product that works as a tinted moisturizer. But I do think that you can mix it into your tinted moisturizer to add just a little bit more um, coverage. I'm going to just mention these MAC blushes. These are the Glow Play Blush. This is what the packaging looks like. I held on to one because I wanted to show you guys what they look like. I picked up Groovy which has been the shade that I use the most because I am obsessed with a beautiful peachy orange blush. I have Cheer Up, which is a softer peachy shade. This one I really haven't played a ton with. Um, that's peachy, another peach. And I would, if you wanna see what the two really peach shades look like, they are different. So, in your face. And the last shade I've been using a ton is Grand. So I would say that Grand and Groovy have been the two shades that I have been using the most. So I was perusing Instagram and I saw, I can't remember who it was, but um, this girl was doing her makeup and then she used this lip product and I'm like, yes. It's a lip pencil, it's a suede lip pencil by Rodile, 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 Rodile. It's in the shade Calabasas. She put this on and I was like, yes, yes, that's me. It's such a beautiful peachy nude. And I got it from skin skincare.com or something. You guys can Google where to buy it from. Um, the other color that I saw that I was like, Rodeo Drive. These two shades, me, all me. I picked up two mineralized skin finish by MAC. Um, these are the skin finish natural. And I got two because I wasn't sure what shade I was. 
I got medium golden, which was the last shade that I purchased um, when I worked at MAC. And then medium tan, which was a shade that people were like, oh yeah, this is you. This is slightly darker. This is perfect for me now. Um, I got them at Ulta. They were 50% off, which is more than my pro discount. So I ended up getting them because I'd been wanting to, to try these again. And I thought I had one in my backup drawer and I didn't. So it was a good time to play with them again. I've got a few more items to show you guys. And this is like, I had to go ham because it was 50% off and then my discount. So it was a good opportunity for me to pick up some items that I knew I liked, but I never wanted to pay. I, was, I really wanted them to go on sale, really. And it's the Fenty Lip Sticks. So I picked up six shades and I'm just going to show you guys what I got. So I got Madame, which is a beautiful red shade. That's what it looks like. I picked up Thick. Again, these are all shades that you're going to see and you're going to be like, bitch, don't you have a bunch of these already? Um, I have Spanked. Let me show you guys Spanked. Candy Venom, which is a fuchsia pink. Boom. I thought it was going to be a little bit more fuchsia, to be honest with you guys. And then this is Tiger Teeny. Tiger Teeny, guys. You guys know I love me a good orange. And the last one I got, which is also an orange, Dragon Mommy. This is like an orange red, though, I think. Boom. So... <laughs> Yeah, you can see what I like. All right, guys. The last thing I got was the new Fenty spray. I have seen... I saw when this was released. I'm like, oh, I'm interested. Ooh, I like that it's a twist-off cap. Oh, it's got a light scent. It smells very clean. Um, I'm not going to use this now because I'm going to save it for a video. But I've heard a lot of really great things about the actual product and how evenly dispersed the spray is and how light it is. I am excited about this. I love the packaging because I'm going to reuse it. You know, sometimes you have really shitty packaging. Sometimes you have really crappy packaging on some of your sprays. And so it's nice to have a good option to switch over to. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little quarantine haul. And I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sending you lots of well wishes, love, laughter, and positive vibes. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.